and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so this is my Project Merlin. It's, I know the last video was when I was showing some parts. This is a pretty much complete. I'm um, showing you guys the insides and what I did as far as the changes from just being stock. I mean, the first off, I upgraded the motor to a Tekken 55 turn heavy duty. Usually used for crawlers, but a slower turn motor, more torque. Doesn't need to be this thing, you know, it's not meant to be super fast. Uh, has three speeds, so I mean, third speeds obviously it's actually pretty quick. If you go to third gear and boost it up, it'll get up there. I mean, but it's a scale semi truck, not a racer. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, then upgraded servos, metal, higher torque, or great steering and shifting. Um, I'm gonna add this. This is the uh, for the trailers. For the, this is the lights for the trailer. I put it there. It's a nicer fit than having it up there on the body. Um, I know when I have to re when I replace this, this is gonna have to be placed. You know, honestly, I'll probably keep it just on this and just push it further back because the uh, trailer's got plenty of cord. Speaking of the trailer, well, actually, I'll show you that in a second. Okay, uh, obviously, it's got the multifunction control unit from Tamiya. The one, the first, you know, one comes with all the lights, sound, uh, light, sound, and it con controls motor from it as well for a second and third actually even though the different gear ratios it has lower voltage for first gear so you don't blow it up second and third will give you full voltage but like i said this doesn't need to be a speed demon right uh it was a lot of custom painting i want a nice green on the frame rails black on the shaft or drive shafts okay well the more the important thing i did is something I end up customizing this entire thing just to make it all fit. This is a smoke generator and a nice one to boot. Uh, I think it's over there. Okay, so the cool piece right here is the Harbor Models smoke generator. This thing, and so the guy who makes these and makes them all by hand, and they originally made it for the big scale RC boats. So you have smoke, steam, whatever. Start making smaller scale ones. There's this one that's even, even an extra small, but this is the small. Runs on six volts. You can also get one that runs on 12 volts, just depending on your setup. And it puts out a ridiculous amount of smoke. I mean, like, it's cool. I mean, I've, I've had little smoke pumps and stuff out of little RC things, like that little tank there had one. It was okay. Um, this thing's crazy amount of smoke, which I'll show you in a bit when, when I fire this up. And the plumbing looks a little rough, but when everything goes in, and actually, it's more it's more accurate to you know get your exhaust pipe in underneath and everything. And, it, and the pipes are fully functional; it does work. I had to modify the bits, and hollow them out, secure it up, and everything, so smoke does come to the stacks, and it, it looks cool. That's one of the coolest things I got on this thing. And because this is, there's different ways of wiring this, you can wire it to the motor. So, well, you wire the heating element to the motor, so you can it regulate. So basically, you throw out a lot, you have more smoke or less smoke. It wouldn't work on this one because the only time you get full, this requires six volts. The only time you get six and above volts is if you're on full throttle on third gear, which I don't run that. I almost never run that. So I just wire it directly to its own battery here. So the smoke system runs on its own LiPo battery. It plugs in through here and the battery basically sits on top of this. And it's fine. If it's fine, there's plenty of room. I don't have it stuck on there because I need to charge it. It's easy to pull it out. Uh, so yeah, this was its own battery, and I'm using these little guys. See these knobs? Control one controls the fan, and the other controls the heat element. Or is this the heat element? The well, hang on, I'm sure it's the fan. Anyway, so one controls the fan, one controls the heat heating element. So as long as you don't go past six volts, that's the whole purpose of these things. You turn it up to almost six volts, you get lots of smoke, plenty of fan. Then you can also adjust. For me, I like to adjust the heating element so it's not quite at six volts, a little bit less, so it doesn't put out a ton of smoke because it puts out quite a bit. Um, and then I got these little guys over here are voltage readers. So as long as I keep it below six volts, these things work great. Fan and the smoke element. And usually, like I said, I can take that smoke element down below six volts and I'll give it a little bit less smoke. So it's not a crazy amount, but you first start it off, you want it hot and then you cool it down. If I turn the ball, you basically fall your knobs and turn it back down. Really cool system. I like it. I like the way I got it set up. You need to know what the voltage is. That's why those are there. Without that, you're guessing. You could cut things, and you don't want to do that. 
Uh, let's see, yeah, I mean, custom paints, installed things differently, a little differently. Got uh, the CNC, a CNC machined aluminum wheels. Pretty cool. All right, so you got the aluminum CNC wheels, front and rear. These are the little slightly beefier tires in stock. Actually, way beefier than the ones it comes with. And these are the, this is a super wide wheel up front with a super wide, very wide tires up front. They look cool. It's more stable too, in my opinion. This little the little single thin ones. Eh, it's plus, plus this thing actually weighs a bit more with the extra gear added to it. So those hold up pretty well. Suspension is pretty authentic. I mean, it does not give a lot of give before it bottoms out, but it does what it's supposed to do. I have the trailer. I went and got the actual fuel tanker, and we actually get this in person. It's big. On film, I'm, I mean, recording, I can see through the camera lens, it looks small. Or small-ish. It's actually quite large. It's much larger than I thought. I originally bought, when I first built one of these, I built a flatbed trailer. Is that that small? I was thinking maybe that size. No, this is actually quite a bit bigger. So I understand why the price is much higher. This is a larger and very nice trailer. Um, this thing is a stainless steel tank and aluminum everything else. Almost almost everything on here is aluminum and the stainless, stainless steel tank. And there's some plastic stuff here and there, but it's freaking nice. I get, I understand why they charge what they did. Of course, the, the wheels are the CNC aluminum wheels as well because I want a more realistic look instead of the ones that come with are these bright chrome plastics and it doesn't quite fit what I'm going for. And I use the stock tires. I think that looks fine. I mean, that's a pretty nice system. I will be upgrading the, uh, I will be upgrading the legs to the power ones, because I just like it. You don't have to touch anything. You back the trailer up and back up your truck into it. Just plug your, plug the cable in here. Right here for the trailer lights. And it rolls them up. This one's kind of cool. I mean, it is cool to point back, so if it does pop them up on back, it just actually hits the spring and it pops them up. And you part, then when you pull and you want to do something, you push, you just pull the little things down. Not a big deal. I just like the idea of it doing automatically with a servo and all that. But other than that, this one's like, this is all set to go other than just that. Maybe some little extra detail bits of hanging out the frame. Yes. Very, very, very interesting and nice trailer. I can see where they charge it. 